How's it going guys? R Triple XC, aka the Raging Cajun here. And uh my hair is really long, so I'm doing this thing. And it's really late at night. And um I was I was watching a couple videos and stuff on YouTube, and I haven't really watching those videos, I kind of realized I, I definitely have not talked about Bakugan in a long time. And I'm trying the streaming thing out and I really want it to work out. Uh, and I'm just messing around with it. I got a lot of other things going on. I got Marvel United going on. I really love the game. It's really cool. Um, me and my friend group have really been getting into board games and stuff. Uh, and so my mind's just in different places. Also, just side note, uh, being a teacher in 2020 uh, is a whole new animal. Uh, and I am having to deal with that uh, as, as it goes along. But what I wanted to talk about um, is just... Where's my stance on Bakugan right now, okay? Uh, I haven't talked about it since a lot of the things have happened, right? Last time you saw me really talk about Bakugan was when I was talking about the game. And I think the game was cool. Uh, I did a video. People seem to have a pretty good reaction to it. Um, I even had people from uh, Bakugan contact me and said they love my, like, outlook on the game uh, and, like, what I thought about it and how I was picking it apart and stuff. And that was really cool. Um, and then community, uh, stuff also, people were, uh, really, uh, happy about the video. Not so happy about the game per se, but the video itself did pretty well for me. Um, and since then, uh, a lot of things have happened. Uh, we had this whole Amazon deal, um, where, uh, if you haven't heard about it, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you probably have heard about it. Uh, but Spin Master and Amazon had a big flib, uh, and... If you ordered a pack from this one uh, thing, uh, or if you were ordering a box of cards uh, and uh, you were planning on getting a box, it was $100 um, of, I don't remember what set, maybe Armored Elite, I think it was, um, and you would get uh, packs instead of boxes, and it was a whole mix-up with the UPC thing, um, and that was a really dark point. Um, community started falling off really hard there. Uh, and even myself, I felt myself saying, I don't know if I really want to be doing this anymore. And that's not a, you know, uncommon thing people were feeling. Uh, and that's why I wasn't really worried about myself thinking that way. Um, but it was horrible. I mean, it was just a bad thing, right? Um, go back a little more, um, to this, uh, armored elite situation. Uh, I had worked with, um, somebody at psycho turtle to kind of do this whole thing we helped them with a the matrix mat we made like a mat for their store for their games and stuff because you know psycho turtle is a really good uh supporter of the game uh great store great owners great people who go there uh love the store love everything about it um and uh i was supposed to get a box of armored elite from them because you know we made the mat we had like a deal you know uh, i didn't need money for it but you know they were willing to give us something for it um, and I had a deal with the Armored Elite thing. Well, if you go back and you remember, uh, they had a whole situation with Spin Master about they had pre-orders for Armored Elite boxes and stuff, and Spin Master wasn't able to fulfill the order or something. This has been a while now, and I, I, this is me just rambling. I, it's late at night. I wanted to make a video. I wanted to talk to you guys because I feel like I haven't done that in a while. Um, but anyway, and basically they didn't... They didn't complete their orders, or they weren't able to, and it really kind of screwed over Psycho Turtle. And let alone the fact that they had to sell these things at such a high price uh, just to make money off of it, because Spin Master and or Bakugan uh, weren't able to give them a good enough you know, margin to make money off of the things because they weren't pricing it right. And go back to, you know, I'm going down a timeline here, as you can see, uh, just to build up to what I'm feeling now. Um, go back beyond that Psycho Turtle thing, going to the event and stuff, you know, where I met everybody, it was really cool, um, great weekend, dream comes true, meet a great bunch of great YouTubers, I'm a huge fan of Billiam, I got to hang out with Billiam for like a whole day, we had coffee together, it was dope, um, Negative Legend too, love Negative Legend, Negative Legend, as most of y'all know, is the reason I started this channel, um, anyway, we learned and talked about some things at the event, uh, that I'm sure you've all heard of now, um, and just the way the information was handled, I feel like, uh, was done wrong and inappropriately. Uh, the event itself was great. They treated us fantastically. I can't wait to go again, if it ever happens again. 
Um, uh, I mean, I appreciate everything they do. Side note, Brock McLaughlin is probably the best employee at the freaking company. Uh, he gets everything done. Uh, he's even been recently promoted, so congrats to Brock. Um, follow him on Twitter and subscribe to his YouTube page. He's starting YouTube too. Cool dude. Um, but uh, just a accumulation of those three things, right? So starting at the beginning of the timeline, some information that was handled and or some things that happened at the event to Psycho Turtle getting mishandled with their pricing and or shipping orders twice. There's a whole other thing that happened, but I don't even know if I need to talk about that. And then uh, moving forward to the Amazon scandal, um, it's, it's just been a, it's just been a snowball, really. I mean, everything just piles up and rolls and rolls and rolls. And it, it's just this like ball of anger that the community has made. And I can't blame people for feeling that way because I feel that way too. Um, it, it's, it, you know, it sounds bad, but I've put so much money into this game, right? Uh, I've got binders full of cards. I've got one, two, three, four, three. Three full binders worth of cards, um, and I don't sell stuff. Personal thing for me, if I'm buying into a card game, I don't sell stuff. So, like, if you see something that I have that you want, you're probably not going to get it. <laughs> but I don't sell stuff, and I don't, you know, get rid of things. So, like, when I'm spending money in a game, I'm sinking money into a game. And it, it just hurts that I feel like the effort I'm putting in and, like, the money I'm putting in doesn't get reciprocated towards me because I am playing the TCG. Um, and, and it, and it really sucks and, and it's, and it's aggravating and angering. Um, and as a Baku master and someone who has a voice for the game, I feel like I need to voice that opinion. Um, it sucks and they're handling some of these things in a bad way. Um, now some things that I tried to do and what I wanted to do was recently try to give the Baku master name some weight, right? So as most of you know us as, is the people who get free diamonds, uh, we get a free trip to LA to go to this event to make videos and more content for you to see the new stuff. Uh, and we're like little marketing polls. Hey, buy this thing. They send it to me. Haha. <laughs> I wanted what we are to mean something, right? So, uh, kind of recently me and uh queso kind of got along we started doing stuff we did our video brawl that's on the bakugan channel i was really honored for that to happen um me and queso toolbox got together and that whole thing that happened a while back where the rules kind of got addressed and there was like a spreadsheet and they addressed rules and stuff um i kind of put a meeting together with me queso toolbox and brock and brought those things to the attention of the company because I felt like it hadn't been done in a single page format yet. Now, granted, Queso and uh, Toolbox got that whole thing together. I had nothing to do with the formatting of the giving it to them. Uh, all I did was organize the fact that we talked to Brock, uh, AKA we talked to Spin Master because he, uh, through all these things we've been doing, was the only person uh, that appears to take what we gave them and hand it to the people at the company who had something to do with it. And it basically became some immediate gratification in some long standing ruling questions. Um, and also we kind of voiced our opinions. Jet Kuzo was in the call too. Sorry, Jet. Uh, we voiced our opinions to him too. And he was taking notes and he brought those, you know, concerns and voiced opinions to the people. Um, and that was something I was really proud of because I felt like at least uh, as someone who has this Baku master status, I did something with it and I, I tried to help the game. Um, and I'm not saying this to brag. I'm saying this to address the fact that I'm really angry about what's going on. And I promise you as one of my viewers and as someone who has taken up the mantle of Baku master, uh, I have tried my hardest at least to do something that I believe was actually effective in changing the game. And that's getting in there and trying to voice opinions of the major community, uh, TCG wise, and put that in the laps of Spin Master because I felt like that was something that hadn't been done before. You know, single comments on Discord, cursing at VK and asking him uh, what's next, or hey, this one ruling thing, and then he, he he glosses over it. That's not crapping on VK. That's just talking in the fact that you know, one message at a time. 
doesn't get things done. We presented a whole page format, a couple pages actually, uh, and then Toolbox and Queso took that over and kept asking questions and everything. I was in the email chain. I'll be honest with you, I wasn't even reading it. They were handling it great, and I think a lot of things came of that, and uh, I am really proud of that. Uh, I'm really proud of those guys for getting that done too uh, because I thought it was important. Um, but state of the game now and how I feel about it. Um, to be completely honest with you, I haven't played a game of Bakugan in since I <laughs> I haven't played a game of Bakugan since the video call with Queso. Um, I, I mean, I have cards. I've got stuff sitting here. It, it's with me. Um, but I, I, to be honest with you, none of my friends play. COVID happened, so I don't have my LGS people to play with. Um, and they didn't play it's competitive Bakugan. They kind of put decks together, which is fine. There's always a space for that. But for me, you know, I'm, I'm in this space. I'm making these videos. I want to have a mindset to where I'm competitive and I understand what's going on. So if I make references to people and people re make references to me, I know what, uh, you know, what, how great Aquas is right now or Sync stuff. And it's all that is gone now for me. I don't have an LGS and none of my close friends play. We all play board games now. I mean, I still have my friends. It's not like that went away, but like, the, the game of choice for us right now is definitely not Bakugan. And it's to the point now where I can't convince them to get back into it. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm still with it. I haven't bought cards because I can't get them, which is another situation. I haven't been, I haven't added updated stock in what I think, if I counted it right, it's four to five months in my area. I have four Walmarts and two Targets, and I have not had updated stock. Um, there was a Batrix at Target yesterday. That's it. <laughs> um, and, it, you know, all that snowballs into the fact is like, I, I'm, I'm sitting here, uh, I have this mantle to do this Baku Master thing and talk to you people about Bakugan and want to kind of do what I used to do and be like an ambassador for the game. But at the same time, like, I can't fulfill the need for battles anymore. I don't have anybody to play with. I really detest video brawling and online brawling. Um, it was fun. I did it with Queso. It was cool time. But, it, you know, in my opinion, I'm not going to set up my phone and I'm not going to set up my camera and everything uh, to do a video brawl. It's just not worth it to me when I could just do something else, you know. Um, but that's just, you know, COVID reasons. For just general reasons, my friends don't play anymore, and it's hard for me to convince them to play. Um you know, my friends are hardcore TCG players, or most of them are anyway. Um, and, you know, a Magic the Gathering and a Pokemon player who have their games, you know, on a rolling schedule, everything comes out at the right time, everything works, they know the meta, there is a meta because people play it. It's hard for them to say, hey, let's play the game with uh, not a lot of card reliability uh, stalking-wise and with no real... You know meta because nobody's playing and nobody's able to change the meta by playing more and finding what's what's going to fix things um and i can't convince those you know high tier card players to join me at the table with my marbles and my magnets you know um and that's not saying that i don't still like the game i love bakugan i mean i i it it sucks you know i've got all this cool stuff up here um it, it sucks that I can't play the game anymore. And it, it, you know, I have days like I'm making this video right now cause I'm so bored. I honestly, I'm, I'm so bored. Um, and it's like, I, I wish I could play. And it, like, like I stated previously, I don't feel like doing the video brawls and I don't feel like doing like untap or anything like that. It's just, it sucks. I'm in a weird spot and you know, I still want to support the game, uh, and I'm so I'm kind of what I'm doing is I'm kind of moving my mentality to collecting the toys. Um, you know, the new one in five hundreds are really appealing to me. Hopefully, I can get my hands on those soon. Um, and I would like to get one of each Fusion Force model. Uh, I'm not really caring about um, uh, faction or anything or viability. Uh, because I, I can't even get the cards. Uh, the last Bakugan, last Armored Elite cards I got were from the Invitational. And that's just how it is. So, um, I don't know. I hope this wasn't too depressing. But I, I wanted to address you guys as 
in, in this faction, in faction, <laughs> fashion, uh, um, cause I, I did promise in a bunch of videos that I'd be more honest with you guys. And I, I just want to voice my opinions. I, I I'm angry just as the community is. Um, and I, I mean, I think the decisions that Bakugan's making are the oversights more like, um, are, are hurting the game. Um, and for it to succeed, I, I think things need to be changed. Um, but they're working on it. Um, I'm really excited for the video game coming out. Uh, yeah, it looks kind of crappy on a visual standpoint, but it literally gives me something to do that involves a franchise I like. It's the same thing with a Pokemon game that comes out. I don't care what it looks like. It is Pokemon, uh, and it plays like Pokemon. I'm going to enjoy it. Um, and so this Bakugan thing is a whole new adventure. Uh, and hopefully that works out. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is kind of the first time I've done a video like this in a while. So I appreciate you being here. And if you stuck all the way through, thank you for being here. Um, you know, uh, I'm assuming if you stuck all the way through, uh, you're one of my bigger fans and I appreciate you. I really, really do. Um, this channel has been like a cool wild ride and now I'm kind of using it as like a hub to learn, uh, video editing and learn streaming. I've been trying to stream. It's been a really hard learning curve. Um, but, uh, I appreciate you guys supporting me through all this. Uh, thank you, Spin Master, for still, you know, I mean, I deal with Brock on the side, uh, still recognizing me. <laughs> uh, and anyway, I've rambled long enough. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. See you later. Bye.